Okay, I came outside a few minutes ago and I heard my air conditioner buzzing. It was making a, like an electrical buzzing type sound. So I took the side cover off, started looking at it, and I can see right in here there's a lot of uh, like cobwebs and some debris and some evidence of bugs and such. Uh, you can hear the, the fans actually turning. Hopefully it'll kick on, try to kick on here in a second. It makes a pretty distinct buzzing sound. I'm pretty sure it's the contactor, uh, but I'm not 100%, so I kind of want to be out here to, to hear this as it goes. I've changed out that capacitor in the past. When the capacitor goes bad, typically, or at least in my situation, the, uh, the fan wasn't coming on at all. So it was a different, different set of uh, symptoms, but this one is making a buzzing sound. And I've never changed that contactor down in there. I'll get around this bush here and show you guys. It'll be hard to pick that up, but this unit in here with all the wires going to it. Right there. That is your contactor. And I may attempt to clean this thing. If I do, I'll run a little short video on it. But yeah, I'm kind of hoping that will kick on so we can hear it. Uh, but you can tell that inside, I can tell that the air is not blowing cold. And that normally I hear an extra sound. A, you know, you can hear the compressor running. It makes a, a distinct sound. So uh, something, something's definitely not, not firing up. No, there. I just did it for just a moment just then. But. Uh, something's not firing up like I want so anyways guys I'll come back in a moment and hopefully we'll be able to fix this thing okay as you can see I've got the breaker turned off here uh, I got the new part here I'm gonna change this out this is the uh, contactor switch for this air conditioner condenser unit uh, this here is called a start capacitor or a run capacitor. I'm not sure which one it is, but these things can actually store energy like a battery. And I've read lots of stuff online where guys have actually blown themselves up by, by arcing across them like that. So I'm not going to tell you how to discharge them, but before you work on any of this stuff, this HVAC stuff, you need to discharge that capacitor because it can still shock you even with your, even with your uh, breaker turned all the way off. So. Be cautious and be warned about that. You might want to go watch some videos, some other videos about how to properly discharge one of these start capacitors if you're going to attempt to do this job. So I'm not advising you to do one way or the other. But I'm going to change this unit out here. I'm thinking that that's what's wrong. When I came out earlier, I had a buzzing noise and my air conditioner compressor was not running. My fan was running, but not the, not the compressor motor. So here we go. Yeah, I'm just going to break these loose to start with and then I can hold my new one up there and line up everything just trying to make it as easy as possible I suppose I could have taken a picture first and then just disconnected everything but I don't know it's from the auto mechanic in me I suppose doing doing old Chevys and working on those over the years that's how you do the spark plug wires it just seems like that's an easy way to not get things crossed They really didn't want those being used. Really tight. Just gonna loosen these up so I can fit the new ones on. they were thinking there but I'm not liking that at all. I have to go get a wrench just to break these loose. That's way okay guys I had to go into the shop and grab a wrench to get these loose. I don't know I think this brand is Eaton. 
So I can't say just yet that I recommend this brand. They ran those screws in so tight I had to go in there and get a, a wrench to do it. So imagine if you're out in the field and you didn't have that right there in your shop. So I've, anyways, uh, here we go. Taken all the wires off of this one and I'm down to the last two and as I, I was, I've been slowly, each, each time I take one off, I put it on the next peg, you know, the same peg on the new part. That way I'm not getting my wires crossed and stuff. I'm trying to keep everything lined up. You can see there's wires all over this thing. Uh, but I just discovered something as I pulled the bottom two off. They just took the cheap root here and put these, they just, they just wrapped the wire, which is, I guess is okay. It's been working like that, but I'm going to go ahead since I have the connectors and I'm going to take a moment to put wire connectors on there. Okay, I changed these out, put some uh, spade connectors on here so that they can connect on and just it just makes me feel better about it. So I'm go ahead and take this out of the way now, the old one. I need to use reuse these screws that, that are coming out of here. So hang on to that. So here goes the old one. Now we're going to visually inspect everything and make sure it's all connected. Looks good. Push those wires down on there as far as you can. Alright. Next up is the test run. Sounds like that didn't get it, so. Okay guys, we're back. I just, uh, earlier, in the earlier video, I changed out the, uh, uh, the contact, the electrical contact in there, and I tried to start the unit up, and that was not it. It did the same exact thing, so uh, the reason I started with that electrical contact, or the contactor, whatever the heck it's called, was that, uh, the buzzing sound sounded like it was those points in there not making a good connection so I thought maybe a bug or something had crawled up in there well I had replaced this uh, capacitor uh, a couple of years back so I was automatically assuming that now nah, it's probably not the capacitor because I'd already changed that out well as it turns out I'm pretty sure because this is a, a two-sided one for the compressor one for the fan I'm pretty sure that that's the reason the fan was running so I went down and I bought a new uh, capacitor. I'm getting ready to install that piece and then we'll try it out and see how it works. Uh, one other thing that I might mention is that before I pulled the wires off of here, uh, hopefully you can see that there's little, there's, there's markings on the inside of here right by these terminals. One of them says Herm, one of them says Common, one of them says uh, fan this one over here on the on this side says fan but anyways if you'll pay attention to that when you're taking those apart and what I did was down here on my panel I just made a little made a mark on the inside so that I would always know uh, what color wires go to what but anyways I'm gonna plug this back in right quick and I'll hopefully fix this unit get it running again and uh, when I do I'll give you some video of that of the unit running and what it's supposed to sound okay, like. Okay here's a shot of the new unit I had to bend that bracket my old one uh, was quite a bit larger diameter uh, here it is kind of a comparison here you can see the old ones quite a bit larger so I took that I took that bracket there and I just bent it at the back uh, what you want to make sure of is that this thing's going to be stationary and not fall out of there. And I tightened this uh, screw up over here, so we should be ready for the ready for the startup test now. Okay, as you can see, I've got the breaker turned off here. I'm getting ready to flip that back on. Okay, the breaker's back on, and we'll go out here and flip the air conditioner switch on, see how it's running. Okay, guys, that's what it was. It turned out on my unit. It was the start capacitor. I was getting a little worried. I was starting to think perhaps it was the compressor had locked up, but as it turned out, it was a start capacitor, uh, not the electrical contact switch. So anyways, I'm not going to change that other switch back out because it was fairly inexpensive, and 
uh, the air conditioner is working as it should now. You got your fan blowing, you can hear the compressor. It makes that distinct compressor sound that, you know, you just, it's just a compressor sound. But uh, if you ever come out and your fan is not blowing, normally your fan runs off of that start capacitor also. So normally that's an indication if your fan's not coming on that your, uh, that your capacitor has gone bad. So anyways, guys, I'm happy to have this thing going because it's uh, the middle of August here and it's very hot in the state that I'm in right now. So uh, I'm really glad to have this unit back up and operational. It was only off for a few hours, but it's already up to 85 or almost 90 degrees in the house there. So real important when you're in a hot climate like this to be able to uh, maintain your air conditioner and when it's easy, when it's these small things like this that you can do yourself you know you should attempt to do it uh, the only thing is is that you know you need to be safe like I said those capacitors can store some electricity in them so uh, you need to make sure and follow the proper procedures to discharge that and I'm not going to go into that in this video because there's a lot of a lot of controversy on what that technique is and what you should do uh, some guys don't believe you should jump, you know, uh, lay a screwdriver across there or lay something metal across there because that can blow up the capacitor. I've, I've never seen that myself, but I've heard about it. So keep that in your mind if you're going to work on something like this that, you know, this is high voltage. That means it can hurt you or kill you even. So be aware of that. Make sure your breakers are turned off, you know, and if you're not sure about something like that, you can always get a multimeter and do the procedures and test that out. So anyways happy day i think i'm gonna go inside make sure we're blowing good and cold but i'm pretty darn certain we are i'm gonna button this back up and that should be it for this repair all right guys hopefully it helps you out i'm not an expert on air conditioning i've just uh, worked on some of these over the years enough of them that i've kind of learned what to look for so if you have any questions i'll try to answer them to the best of my ability uh, your situation may be similar to this, uh, but it may not be the same problem. So there's there's lots of other things inside of there that it could be, but normally this is where I start out is on this control plant panel side. And uh, so far, every time I've had to repair one on this unit here, it's always been the capacitor. So this is the second capacitor I've put in this unit. So be aware of that, guys. First time uh, the fan wasn't blowing. This time the fan was blowing, but the, com the uh, compressor itself wasn't kicking on. So uh, just a little bit different symptom, but it's basically the same problem both times. So, all right, guys, have a great day.